Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to find the area of compound shapes. Coming up. In this video, I'm going to help you find the area of compound shapes. Let's start off with the problem. Jason wants to tile the floor of his new swimming pool. The pool is split into two sections, a two meter square hot tub and an eight meter long swimming pool. The width of the long end is six meters. Help Jackson find the total area of the pool. A compound shape is a shape made up of two or more basic shapes. You can combine any number of basic shapes to make a compound shape. So the key formula that we're gonna use is area equals length times width, or A equals L times W. So step one, we'll work out the area of the eight meter pool. So in order to work out the width of the pool, we're gonna subtract two from six to give us four meters. That's the width of the pool. So eight meters by four meters. That gives us 32 meters squared. Now step two, we're gonna work out the area of the small hot tub, which is two meters by two meters. And the question mentions it's a two meter square hot tub. Two times two equals four meters squared. The final step, step three, we're gonna calculate the total area. So we're gonna add 32 meters squared plus four meters squared to give us a total of 36 meters squared. Question two. Jackson wants to pave his patio and needs you to help him find the total area. Pause the video here and have a go for yourself. Write your answer in the comment section below. So we'll split the paving into three different sections. Step one, we'll work out the area of section A. So the length is 12 meters and the width is 10 subtracted from the 15 meters. That gives us a remainder of five meters. So area equals length times width so 12 times 5 gives us 60 meters squared. For part B, we'll work out the area of this section. Now the length is 7 and the width is 3. So area equals length times width. 7 times 3 equals 21 meters squared. For section C, the length is 10 meters and the width is 3 meters. So area equals length times width, 10 times 3, 30 meters squared. Finally, we need to add all three sections, A plus B plus C, for the total area. So 60 plus 21 plus 30 gives 111 meters squared. So JC needs to buy 111 square meters of paving. In question three, we're gonna work out the area of this model building. We're going to use a key formula, area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. Pause the video here and see if you can work it out for yourself and write the answer in the comment section below. So we can break up this shape into three sections, A, B and C. And so C is the triangle that we're going to use this formula for. For section A, the length equals 10 centimeters along this side. The width is equal to 12 centimeters minus four centimeters minus one centimeter. So if you look closely, there's a one centimeter length here. There's four centimeters across the top and there's 12 centimeters along the bottom. So 12 minus the four plus the one will give us seven centimeters. So we have a width of seven centimeters and a length of 10 centimeters. Now we know that area is length times width so 10 times seven gives us 70 centimeters squared. Section B, we have a length of four plus one. So remember before we had four along the top plus one along here, which gives us five centimeters. And the width is four centimeters along this side. Now in order to work out the area, we're gonna do length times width, five times four, 20 centimeters squared. Finally, we'll work out section C, for which we're gonna use this formula, base times the height divided by two. So we know that the base is one centimeter, it's along here, and the height is 10 centimeters minus four centimeters. 
So here we have 10 centimeters along the side, minus the four centimeters here, which makes six centimeters the height of the triangle. So base times height divided by two gives us one times six divided by two, which is three centimeters squared. So we're not quite finished because we need to now add up the areas for all three sections, A plus B plus C. 70 plus 20 plus three makes 93 centimeters squared. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Drop me a like and subscribe for more awesome videos. See you in the next one.